Welcome to the apartment tour. Come in guys. So this is the hallway. This is actually the part of the apartment that impressed me the most the first time I visited it. Because if you actually take out the wardrobes that I put here, it's actually pretty damn massive. When I first walked in here and there was no furniture at all, the hallway looks super grand and super wide open and it leads into the living room really nicely. Over here we have the sideboard. This was actually in here when I moved in. I just use it to put some light decoration. As you see, there is my... <laughs> lovely face over here. I mean, not my face, but um, this guy's face. I think he looks pretty cool. He's my bodyguard and uh, classic Tom Ford book. You've probably seen this one in a lot of interior design videos, but I think it looks cool. And then right above the sideboard, we have this triple set of mirrors right here, which came with the apartment as well. Um, I actually quite like these mirrors. When you go out, you can quickly check yourself just in case, you know, something on your face or something. Moving down the hallway over here. This is actually my favorite area of the house. A little bit of an Instagrammable spot here where you can come in, take a selfie right before you come out. You got your outfit on, just take your phone out. Boom, mirror shot in there, looks cool. When I moved into this flat, I decided to upgrade from fake plants to real plants. I used to be a fake plant kind of guy because I'm pretty bad at watering them and I kill all my plants, but I decided to make an effort and try to do a better job at it. And so far, as you can see, they're, they're still pretty alive. They've survived, what, a good like eight months? Love this little guy right here, this little velvety poof. It's super comfortable to sit in. Um, this carpet actually came all the way from South Africa. I had it handmade in South Africa with this amazing artisan. Art artisan? Artisan? I'll artisan. say artisan. Artisan. Okay. Homemade company, handmade. And on the opposite side of the mirrors, we have these three lovely paintings. I think these come from the Poster Club. Shout out to the Poster Club. They have some amazing affordable artwork that you can easily frame and print. And the reason they're there is because when you're taking a selfie on this side, you can actually have them in the reflection, in the mirror shot, and it looks cool. This is the most confusing lighting system that I've ever had in any apartment so far. So as you can see, there is one, two, three, four, five, there's 10 buttons here. If you press here, it turns everything off. It's probably pretty dark right now, doesn't matter. Number two, it turns on just the kitchen over there. Number three is a dim setting of the lights. So it turns on all the lights of the apartment, a little bit dim. Number four, it goes a little bit brighter. And number five, that's the brightest where we're gonna shoot in right now because it's pretty damn dark in London at this time of the year. This is a pretty cool thingy where you can control the temperature everywhere in the apartment. Right now I set it at 24 degrees because I like it warm, I like it hot. I wanna be warm and cozy. I know some people, they bring down the temperature, but it's winter in London and it's cold. Coming on to here, we have the main room of the flat the living room. So as I mentioned before, the whole flat came partly furnished. It had the dining table, the coffee table, the sofa. But other than that, I brought in my own furniture and all of that with the help of my friend and amazing interior designer, Anna Mahler. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name right. Please call me out if I'm not Anna. This is my first time ever working with an interior designer and it's always been my dream to one day have my own house work with a designer to really make it cool and homey and just the way I love it. I don't actually own this home, I'm renting, but it's the first time in my life that I kind of want to settle in one space for a little bit of time. If you don't know my background, I used to move a lot in different countries when I was a kid. I was moving every three years, never really had like a steady, stable home. And this is the first time that I'm at a place in my life where I can stay in one place for a little bit and invest a little bit more in the furniture and the, and the decor, the interior design. So it's been an absolute pleasure working with Anna. I think she did an amazing job on the whole flat. I'll put a link to her socials in the description if you wanna check her out. And if you're in London and want some interior design work, she's great. Okay, over here we have my work desk. So this is where I spend the majority of my time working, which is the majority of my time, pretty much Monday to Sunday. What's really cool about this desk, it's that it's a standing desk. So if you want, you can work like this from here. By the way, this laptop stand, absolutely amazing for posture. If you're working from home, or actually if you're working anywhere with a desk, highly recommend having your laptop at an eye level so you don't get cramped up like this, have shitty posture like me, and then hurt your back or your neck. So yeah, you can sit down or make the desk taller. Boom, and you can work standing, get your cardio in.
two hours later. That's as low as it goes. Just above the desk, we have these floating shelves, which I installed myself. This is the only actual fake plant that I have in my house. I know I said I had living plants, but I still do have this one fake. Here we have a scent diffuser. If you've never had one in your house, highly recommend trying one. It's great to just, you know, keep the smells nice and homey in your house. Um, this lovely candle, which I've never lit because it looks so cool and I'm afraid to light it because then it's gonna um, start melting and not look as cool, was gifted to me from a company called Held, Held, I think, Held Made on Instagram. Great candle, absolutely love it. Over here, we have the dining area. This is a dining table. It came with the flat as well, but the chairs didn't come with the flat. The chairs that were initially there were absolutely horrendous in my opinion. So we had those changed. I think these ones look much sleeker, much classier. Um, these are marble placemats. They're not actually placemats, but I'm using them as placemats. Anna had the great idea of just using raw marble in this round shape as table mats. These are some funky plants. They look a little bit alienish, to be honest. This lovely candle was gifted to me by my friend Wen Wen. Thank you, Wen Wen. <laughs> and here we have another artwork. You've, I mean, you've seen this one already in uh, pretty much almost all of my videos. It's in my backdrop. And then over here, we have the living room. As you can see, since I only have one space, like one main space, I kind of had to compartmentalize, uh, like section off different areas of the living room to have like the chilling lounging area, the dining area and the workspace. This one is probably the least comfortable chair. It's not super cozy, um, but it came with a flat. I kind of had to keep it there. This one is probably the most comfortable one. When I want to be a little bit more relaxed, usually when I do like creative work, when I script, I usually just have my laptop right here and just work from here. This is also where I do my reading. Just kidding, I don't really read, but on the rare occasions that I do read, I read here. And on the coffee table, we have a few books, this London City Guide, this candle from Diptyque, and a second scent diffuser, which was also gifted to me by my friend Wen Wen. Thank you, Wen Wen. And to my right, we have this really cool lamp. It's actually my favorite lamp in the house. It has like a marble base to kind of recall the marble um, in the hallway and in the kitchen, which you'll see in a second. This is a blank canvas board, which I had made. So this is actually to use for content, for Instagram photos. I can kind of use it as a backdrop, create some contrast with the white wall behind it. Over here, we have another print. Um, this one, I think was also from the poster club. We have this striped pillowcase in different shades of gray here, which I think kind of goes well with the other grayish neutral tones in the house. This guy right here is my favorite plant, or should I say tree. It's a fig tree. It takes a lot of water to keep him alive but I think he's really cool. He's my friend. And over here we have the blue couch, which also came with the flat. And my little pillow ball. So I tried to make use of the color blue and kind of have this as a statement piece in the living room. So I have only the couch and the pillowcase as the main blue colored items in the living room. That way it makes it more of a statement rather than this random color that's just in there. Over here we have my white storage unit. So I kind of use it for decoration, but also try to make it practical at the same time. On top, it's mostly for decoration. We've got some books and we've got some blueberries in a vase. Over here we have a hand. As you can tell, um, I like anatomical pieces. That's holding a UE Boom 3. Um, these speakers are absolutely fantastic. Great quality for the price. Over here, this is my fancy fruit bowl, where we got some oranges and the infamous YouTube 100K plaque. Over here, this is where I put my camera gear. Got another random vase here and another random vase there and another random, okay, I need to be a little bit more practical with this. Um, but to be fair, inside here, this is where I keep like all my gear and stuff. It's a little bit of a mess right now. Keep my gear. Random miscellaneous stuff. Here we have the beautiful kitchen countertop. This is all marble. The main question is, how often do you use the kitchen? Why are you saying that? <laughs> I use this kitchen a fair bit. Okay, I don't always cook, but I cook sometimes. Oftentimes I do takeouts out of convenience. Over here we have a dishwasher, the most practical thing in the 21st century. So glad I have one. 
The facilities here are actually amazing. We've got the microwave over here, the oven, and I've never had this before in my life. I actually have a mini wine fridge where I can put wine bottles, champagne bottles for when I have guests over. And then all of the cupboards are integrated kind of in the wall. And the fridge is here. That's actually a pretty full fridge for what I'm used to. Okay, let me take you to the terrace now. Over here we have the terrace. To be fair, I don't use it that much in winter because it's quite chilly, but you know, it's nice to have a space where you can kind of go out, take a breather and then get back in. I do plan on putting some furniture here for next summer. That way when it's warm outside, you can just kind of chill, have a meal or just work outside for a bit. Okay, let's go back in because it's cold. And going back in that way. Over here we have the bathroom. Best part of the bathroom is definitely the heated floors. Absolutely love the heated floors in the bathroom. Underfloor heating again, it keeps your feet super warm and cozy. One thing I love is the fact that it has mirrors all over, which is super practical when you're, you know, doing your thing, showering, all that. Shower over here. Hello. This is kind of where I keep my fragrances, my skincare stuff and all that. The countertop here is actually super space efficient because it has drawers. So you can kind of put just more storage stuff in there, hair dryers. Uh, I keep my toilet paper in there. And then you can even extend the countertop like this. So in the morning when you're doing your skincare, brushing your teeth, all that, you can kind of put some products in here as well. And over here, we have in-unit washer dryer hidden, which is another fantastic amenity to have in this day and age. And over here we have the bedroom. This is where the magic happens. You know you become a full-fledged adult when you start having four pillows, actually six pillows, on your bed instead of one. I actually still can't believe I get to wake up to this view every morning. It's pretty crazy. I used to have only building facing, no light bedrooms. These wardrobes are where I keep all of my clothing. So here we got all the sweaters, the hoodies and all that. And this is where I kind of keep my big coats. The storage space in this flat is actually pretty insane. One of the biggest selling points when I got the flat. Over here we have another kind of storage unit. My lovely water plant over here, which has been growing very well. This is actually the most practical one because I don't have to water it ever because it just lives and breathes water all the time. Ugh. On this side of the bed, we have a little bedside table lamp, little things to keep. Have you ever heard of this thing, by the way? This is a, this is a snoring ring, it's called. I don't know if it works, because obviously when I'm sleeping, I don't know what I'm doing, but apparently you just put it on your pinky finger while you sleep, and it's like some acupressure kind of thing. <laughs> and it helps you to not snore. In terms of square footage, the flat is like 650, I think, around 650 square feet, which is like 60 or so square meters, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, that's the apartment, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again to Anna for helping me design the whole place. It's been a huge help with the decoration and everything. I wish you all a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.